What's up, old school stereo fans? This is Big D Wiz from OldSchoolStereo.com. Is this the world's loudest, most powerful boombox? The Athena iVoice boombox. Portable iPod dock. Who knows if it's the world's loudest, but today we'll find out how much power it puts out. To the massive three inch speakers. Stay tuned for more. See me tear it apart. Oh. And test this massive amplifier's wattage. Can you handle it? Let's see. What's up, old school stereo fans? This is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today we're going to do something a little different with a um, device that's not really old school. It is an iPod dock, uh, as you can see here. I have one by a company called Athena. Uh, this model came out a few years ago, and I actually have one that has a speaker that's kind of blown. And I thought it would be kind of cool to do a uh, output demo on it and see what kind of power it puts out so real quick i'll just show you i've got two here obviously one is in great condition and has no problems just turn it around and show you some of the some of the connections there's a port here for the two speakers i believe they're three inch or three and a half inch as you can see here the metal grill is taken off the front of this one and it has a 3.5 input USB, which um, I guess that's to make an audio device on the computer. I can't really remember. And the yellow one is for uh, video out, but it only works with the um, the old iPod videos, so not the new ones. And I'll show you what I did with this one. And I've got it so I could pull it apart. And so I had to pry the, the front off so you can see there's the amplifier down there at the bottom with some of the other electronics. There's the little speakers with the neodymium magnet on it. There it is. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to test the impedance of the speakers here and see what kind of ohm load they're putting. I'm guessing it's somewhere between 4 and 8, but we'll find out. But before I do that, I was going to let you listen to it real quick. You can probably hear the distorted speaker, which is the one on the right. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, what I've done here is I've hooked up the good one, just because it doesn't make any sense to let you listen to the one that sounds bad and distorted. Just to give you an idea of how good this this uh, iPod dock sounds. Now it is rated I believe either 15 or 20 watts times 2. That's why I wanted to do a bench test and see what it really put out. But here get a get a listen to this. All right, as I've shown you guys before, my high dollar, five dollar Syntec uh, Harbor Freight Special here, uh, multimeter, when I short the two leads together, and when I have it set to the ohm mode, um, it stays at about 0.4. So that lets me know there's 0.4 resistance uh, built into the wires here. So what I'm gonna do, uh, either that or the thing is just not calibrated properly. I'll just subtract 0.4 from whatever I get the measurement from the speaker and then I'll know that I um, got the correct measurement. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'll zoom it in some so you can see. Looks like it's steady at 7.2. So we'll subtract 0.4 and we'll get 6.8. Okay, as you just noticed, I uh, got a measurement of about 6.8 ohms for the 
speakers that are built under this iPod dock and uh, what I'm going to have to do since my resistor loads are set up for either 8 ohms or 4 ohms is I'm going to have to just test those two different modes and I can't really set a specific 6.8 uh, ohm load so we'll try 8 ohms and 4 ohms. Got the 1 kilohertz test tone uh, going into I got the oscope hooked up and right now we're in the 4 ohm mode so I've got the oscope set to the to the 4 ohm mode and let's test it and see what it'll do twenty point two watts wow it's rated at 20 watts per channel pretty good let's try 8 ohms all right, now we have it hooked up to an 8 ohm load, and we're still doing the 1 kilohertz test tone, so let's see what it'll do. Ten point four six watts. Not bad. All right, now we're really getting crazy here. I thought, why not? I mean, this thing is already blown, so let's try the 2 ohm load. I want to say it's blown the speaker, it's blown out the amp. So let's try a 2 ohm load at 1 kilohertz. 32.24. Wow, it'll even handle a 2 ohm load. Let's see how long it'll handle it. 5. Don't see any fires. No sparks. Pretty impressive. Well, there you go, folks. Maybe not the world's most powerful boombox, but not bad. 32 watts per channel into 2 ohms. 20 uh, watts per channel into 4 ohms and 10 watts per channel into 8 ohms. Not bad at all. Kind of impressive for such a small amp. Like I said, this is not one of the normal videos that I do, but I just thought, hey, it'd be, uh, be a cool thing to try. So, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more cool things coming up. See ya!